Thanks. Uh, wow, what a privilege to be here in front of all of you today. And an honor to be able to present uh, AMD's latest client products to you. It's always exciting to be at Computex. It's extra exciting if you have something cool to announce and we do today. So let's, let's jump right in. So I'm going to start with what's already been explaining and recapping what's already been a very full year of products uh, from, from client at AMD. We've got a lot of momentum and we're building on it here at Computex. At the beginning of the year, actually around the CES time frame, we introduced Kavari into the desktop market. And Kavari is a very important product all the way around. We led with it in the desktop to show our commitment to that market and to show what a, what a true performance APU can do for a desktop machine. We've had great momentum, great success. The press has received it wonderfully, and, and we see the desktop momentum picking up through the first half of the year. Then a little bit later, continuing on that theme of making sure we're driving great support for the desktop channel, especially the DIY community. But AMD has such a great heritage of supporting. If we launched the AM1 platform, this was really innovative because we took our low power APUs and we made it into a socketed format that made it very easy and upgradable for the DIY market. So this was a really innovative piece of technology and allows us to take the APU and penetrate that entry to mainstream uh, desktop market in a brand new way that's differentiated. And then finally, just a couple of months ago, at the end of April, we announced the Beamer and Mullins products for mobile devices. So this is the third generation of our low-power devices. This is a market that AMD made. When we launched the Brazos family of APUs that you may remember from a few years ago, we remade that entry to mainstream segment. We took the power down, we gave a better experience, we added to the graphics, and we really recreated that segment of the market. And now we're here to say, we're not done. And we, we delivered Beam and Mullins, which doubled the performance per watt generationally, while staying in the same architecture. So very friendly to our partners and our customers to be able to transition, but still this tremendous uplift of 2x performance per watt. We've seen huge momentum. The ramp is actually going great. Let me show you a product here from Lenovo that's a great example of what we've done with Beam and Mullins. Here's a, a great multi-mode device that has a 300 degree hinge. And what Lenovo's done is they use Bima to take this kind of two-in-one and take it to aggressive price points, really make it accessible to the end user in a great form factor and a great design. So Bima is here now, it's launched, it's in market, and this is just one of the great designs that we have in our portfolio of Bima. So that's the past. What's today? So today it's my uh, great privilege to announce for the first time the Kavari mobile products. So this is following on to the momentum of the Kavari launch at the desktop. And now we've taken that product and we've optimized it for mobile. This is a very important product for AMD along multiple dimensions. First of all, it's, it's a real revolution in how we develop and engineer an APU. Why is it a revolution? Because for the first time ever, we're coupling the CPU and GPU cores together through our HSA hardware technology to create a more seamless interaction so that you can use the GPU for more than just 3D. It's wonderful for gaming, but it can also be used for compute. And Kavari Signal is the very first product with HSA hardware to help seed that ecosystem of compute and build it up over the next few years. So it's great to have this product in hand, to see that development, and to show you some of the first applications that are accelerated by this revolutionary architecture. Because of that architecture, we're able to deliver more compute performance than's ever been seen in a mobile device. We have over 800 gigaflops of single precision floating point operations in this device, and that makes it really an amazing amount of capability in a low power device to do things that you used to need a big desktop PC to do. Now with Kavari, you can do it in your mobile devices. And of course, all of that technology will be meaningless if you don't deliver experiences to end users. So we've been developing with our ISP partners and our internal teams, great software applications that sit on top of this powerful hardware to really help deliver that wonderful experience to the end user. Rather than me talking too much about it, let's roll a video that's going to show you some of the great capabilities of the bar. Uh, cool. uh, cool. You may have noticed something there at the end. If 
might have been a little bit unexpected. You might have seen a little badge with the FX brand on it. So it's a very important uh, inflection point for the mobile business at AMD. We're taking our FX brand, which stands for the best of the best that AMD has to offer. It's been a mainstay in our desktop marketplace for many years. We're now, we now have the right, it's the right time with the right product, with the right level of performance to introduce that enthusiast brand into the mobile segment. So FX is going mobile this year with Kavari. This is a fantastic opportunity for us to partner with some of our key partners to deliver real performance mobile. This is an HP 15 inch Envy system. This is going to be one of the first to launch with our FX brand with mobile. And what you can do with FX is take this fantastic gaming experience and because of the capability of AMD, sorry, HP, have you ready to take your photo? <laughs> because of the capability of this FX APU, you can now get a fantastic gaming and compute experience at, at an ultimate level in a low power device with Kavari. So this is just one of many designs you're going to see with FX going forward. Don't publish the ones with HP upside down. <laughs> okay, so it's one thing to say we've got a part and it's, and it's uh, performance oriented, but we really need to back it up with performance. So here you can see our Kavari FX low voltage product, head to head versus a low voltage Core i7 from Intel. And what's awesome about what we're doing with FX is across a whole suite of benchmarks, from system level benchmarks like PCMark, of course we're going to win on graphics, and then we're going to win on compute as well. So across the board of all the major, these major benchmarks, we actually go toe to toe, and in many cases outperform Core i7. So this is an important step for AMD as we take the APU up that price stack and into new segments to offer our OEMs the opportunity to take A and D higher price points, higher performance, go toe to toe and win versus Core i7. So benchmarks are fun and interesting, but it's, it's a lot more fun to see a live demo. So what I'm going to show you now is the Mantle Accelerated Game. This is called Star Swarm from Oxide, and hopefully you'll be able to see here in a side-by-side -side way uh, the performance of FX versus Core i7. So what you're looking at here is the Intel system, and it's rendering spaceships. It's rendering at this point over 2,000 spaceships. You can see the frames per second. Now, if we bring in AMD, look at the striking difference in what we can deliver with FX compared to Core i7. So this is a pretty powerful rendering system here. You're rendering almost 5,000 objects at one time and you're still almost hitting 30 frames per second. Let's, let's look at it side by side. Look at the dramatic difference in the experience between this mantle-enabled game with Kavari FX and what you can get with Core i7. So whether you look at benchmarks, real games, real applications, we have a winning product with mobile FX. So now let's shift gears a little, a little bit and let's talk about the trends in the commercial space. So as we've been looking closely at what's going on in commercial, we see a fairly radical change in the types of workloads, the types of systems that people use in their business environment. On the left, you see a representation of what I'll call yesterday's world in the commercial sector. It's a very flat world, a very 2D world, spreadsheet-centric, you know, mainly Microsoft Office Suite, some Excel work, and the devices are fairly large. In commercial, tends to, to run a little bit behind the consumer segment in terms of their adoption of the latest and most cutting edge form factors. But now, as you move forward into today's devices, we see that changing. We see, first of all, the commercial devices, and I'll show you one of them in a moment, are getting aggressive in their form factors and really, really attractive because we're toe-to-toe -to -toe with consumer devices in terms of portability and style. We also see that the workloads that matter are changing. And frankly, those workloads are coming to the APU. What do I mean by that? Those workloads are moving from a flat 2D environment to an immersive 3D environment. Whether you're talking about video conferencing with multi-points and really great graphics, or you talk about the fact that the work we do is increasingly 3D. It's increasingly about rendering and visualizing. We're visual people. We want to visualize our work just like we visualize our play. 
because of all those trends, now is the right time for AMD to bring out a dedicated professional line of products. So with Kavari for the first time in the mobile space, we introduced the AMD Pro Series. These products are specially designed and optimized for the commercial value proposition. The AMD Pro line has three incremental value propositions to differentiate it from our standard consumer line. The first one is performance. At any point in the AMD brand stack, an AMD Pro product will outperform uh, a consumer product. We feel this is important to give the, the commercial guys, the guys who really are seeking lo a long product that they could run for many years, give them the ability to be comfortable that, that their product is future-proof by being high performance. And then, maybe two things that aren't quite as obvious to many of us who, who don't spend our time in the commercial environment every day, longevity and stability. What are these about? This is about making it easy to do business with A and B if you're an IT person or, or if you're in the business workplace. And what you want is you want a product that you can count on a steady supply for a long period of time. Much longer than you would like than you see in a standard consumer device. So for our pro line, we deliver additional longevity compared to our consumer products. And then stability, what does that mean? That means that if the software stack that we deliver with the AMD Pro line, we commit to not changing it. Because if you're an IT manager in a large business, you don't want to be deploying new drivers, new BIOS, and constantly having to manage that software stack. So what we say is we'll give you more performance, we'll give you better longevity, and we'll keep a stable software image. And that together brings the, the AMD Pro value product. Once again, branding and having a new product lineup is one thing, but can you back it up with performance? So here's one example of how we're backing up our AMD Pro products uh, with the performance we need to win. Here I'm showing a different version of PC Mark. This one is the work version. So this is the, the portion of the PC Mark benchmark that actually is made for commercial environments. So AMD goes toe to toe with our competitor here too. An A10 beats an I5 on the PC Mark A4. So that tells our partners and all of the commercial IT managers that you don't have to worry if you get great performance with AMD. So I'm also proud to say with that with that new pro product line, this time I'll hold it in the right direction, we're seeing a higher rate of adoption and design wins of AMD commercial products. This is an HP Elite book, and this is actually a fantastic time for AMD. It's the first time there's been an AMD product in the Elite series at HP. And that's really based on the performance, the capability, future-proofing, and everything we bring with the AMD Pro lineup has led our partners to bet with us on AMD Pro. So you can see it's a beautiful design, slim, low voltage, long battery life. We couldn't be more thrilled to be part of this lineup with HP. Once again, benchmarks are interesting. I'm really visualizing the AMD advantage is even better. So what I'm going to do now is show you a different application. This time, I'm going to show you Photoshop. So Photoshop is obviously a very important application for creative types. And we see that in the workplace, you know, creative content creation are one of the key workloads. So we've worked with Adobe to implement OpenCL for some of the key filters that are applied to sharpen pictures. This is called Smart Sharpen. What you saw briefly there was a side-by-side -side with AMD, AMD Pro versus Intel Core i7. And you see, we finished the Smart Sharpen filter in 12 seconds. The nice thing about Intel is you can start to sharpen a photo, you can go get a cup of coffee, and you can be confident that nothing is going to happen while you're gone. So you can see I won't waste anyone's time waiting on it to complete, but multiple X times faster. And that's the power of compute, that's the power of OpenCL to deliver this acceleration for modern workloads for the best that we have to offer for our commercial or consumer markets. So I'm about finished. Um, I just want to reiterate here how proud we are of Kavari, how proud we are of having the ability to launch this device and to symbolize our growth in the APU, as Lisa mentioned. And now we're penetrating more premium segments with FX. Now we're attacking the commercial segment with Pro. Our partners have lined up with us. 
We'll be breaking into the back half of the year. You'll see announcements really from all of the major OEMs. So this is a list of our biggest partners that are supporting us with our entire mobile lineup. We're really excited to watch these products hit the market and, and see them sell and be a great success. So with that, I'm going to wrap and I'm going to invite Scott Ayler, the GM of our embedded team, to come join me on the stage. Scott?